Mina, Ohio Gazimus, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, here with Monday stuff at the very beginning of Tuesday. Yeah, it's pretty normal for me. This is 1 Kings chapter 20. Where's that verse? Okay, verse 13. Suddenly a prophet approached Ahab, king of Israel, saying, Thus says the Lord, Have you seen all this great multitude? Behold, I will deliver it into your hand today. And you shall know that I am the Lord. So we're talking about Ahab, the same guy that Elijah was like, is it going to be a giant drought? You've been an idol worshiper. You have that woman Jezebel. Okay, you didn't say that, but Jezebel was a nasty woman, as will be seen in upcoming chapters. Again, she that name is infamous for a reason. So bad guy, bad wife, did bad things. Lots of judgments are pronounced against him, lots of prophecies against him. But here we have this one prophet, and this one prophecy where, for some reason, God's like, yeah, I'm going to fight this enemy for you. Or not necessarily, I'm going to fight this enemy for you, but you're going to be victorious. I will deliver it into your hand today. There wasn't some angelic appearance. There wasn't some earthquake or hail or sign from the sky. Just they having his army won against a vastly superior, larger force. And by this you shall know that I am the Lord. It's just really cool to me that, you know, even to people who are rotten, people that are evil and bad, and everyone would say, you know, this person sucks. God loves those people. He wants to reach out to those people. And the, even in the Old Testament, when God was all, you know, banhammer, 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 there was mercy shown to people who I think even we would agree probably didn't deserve a whole lot of mercy. Um, you read ahead in the game, and just some... You know, stuff like, you know, I want something I can't have. Well, I'm going to arrange your death and then I'll take it after you're dead kind of bad stuff. I mean, just evil, evil couple. And God had mercy on them. God wanted to show them in a non-judgmental way, hey, I'm the Lord. I can help you out. I can be good to you. I can show kindness and mercy to you. They didn't accept it. They didn't, they didn't walk with the Lord or go along with him. But good, a little bit of good came their way. A little bit of mercy was shown to them. I just, I really think that's awesome. That kind of stuff isn't mentioned a whole, whole lot. One, by opposers of the Bible. And two, I have to admit, it's not mentioned a ton in the Old Testament as well. Even on this channel, as I've been going through the Old Testament, lots and lots of judgment-type stuff. The Lord doesn't go easy on sin. That doesn't mean He doesn't care. That doesn't mean He's not a loving, merciful God. It means He's a holy and just God who can't be with sin. That's why Jesus had to die on the cross, so sins could be forgiven. So, wanted to point that out. I thought that was a really just a poignant part of the story. Like, hey, look at this little bit of mercy right here. We don't hear about that a lot. So yeah, wanted to point that out and kind of put a magnifying glass on that because that stuff's worthy of notice. It's really, really cool when you see um, you know, little bits of mercy to people. Most of us would agree really don't deserve it. Even we humans, we sinful humans also, I should say, sinful humans who do bad things. They're not that bad, but still bad things. We would say these people don't deserve mercy, and the Lord's like, let me give the guy a chance. Let me show him I can be good. And I just think that's awesome. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.